You know everywhere I go, you know BG got that smoke Yeah, bitch, I want all the smoke BG boy, I'm a flow Put some passion in my flow, I pray to God You, too What's up with everybody? It's your boy, Big Nick And welcome back to another episode of Kicks and Conversation Today, got an early review for you guys Let's hop right into it First off, I want to have a big shout out to my homeboy, Zay Y'all can follow him on Instagram at Zay Picasso. And big shout out to Nike for getting him this early pal so I can get y'all the early review. So shout out to my homeboy Zay and shout out to Nike. Size 11. This is his personal pal. Let's get right into it. Today, We have a review on the Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0. So, right off bat, I have to say, out of all the Jordan 1s that have released in 2021 so far, this is my favorite. I know I may have said it in other Jordan 1 videos, but I'll say it again. The Jordan 1 OG High Shadow is my favorite Jordan 1 of all time. So I don't have that with my collection. So them bringing a reverse of it or another variation of it, this is a must cop for me. I have to have this in my collection. I know a lot of people may disagree with me and say, that ain't the best Jordan 1. Uh, they may say I'm tripping, but just my personal opinion. My personal opinion, this is the best Jordan 1 of the year. Like I said, the Jordan 1 Shadow, the OG, is my favorite. Let's hop right into it. We have a gray swoosh, a gray Nike tick with a black panel. Then you have gray suede on the heel, and you have gray suede going around the toe. Cap. Then on the toe box, you have black leather, then you have the black tone with the Nike Air in that gray. On the inner portion, same, same color blocking, gray suede, black leather, gray Nike tip, go around to the back, the whole Heel area is black, I mean gray, with a black ankle collar. Hop right into it. You have a black insole with a gray jump man, black laces, and you also get a second pair of laces, gray. In my opinion, the gray laces is going to hit so well on this sneaker. They're going to look so perfect in this sneaker because you have so much black from the toe box all the way up to the tongue. I feel like the gray shoe strings are going to offset this sneaker perfect. It's going to make the perfect mesh between black and gray. White midsole, as on most Jordan ones, you have. You have your black wings logo, and you have a all black sole. So, why do I feel as this is the best Jordan one of the year? Like I said, the Jordan one shadow is my favorite. Second reason, just the simple color blocking, the black and the gray. You can wear it with so many things. You can put together so many outfits with this just simple colorway. And to me, they did a real, real good job of executing this colorway. I know we have had other 2.0s in the past with Jordan ones. We had Pine Green 2.0s. We had Court Purple 2.0s. So this is just another 2.0 in the Jordan 1 collection. 
I can't wait to get my pair. Like I say, I've been excited ever since I found out that it was dropping the Shadow 2.0. I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Release day is coming up soon, so I'm excited. I'm ready to get me a pair. I know when we talk about Jordan Warren's, we always discuss how is the leather quality? What is the leather like? Is the leather good? Is the leather bad? Is the leather trash? In my opinion, the leather's okay on this one. The leather's okay. But in my opinion, sometimes the leather doesn't necessarily mean anything. Sometimes the colorway can make a sneaker. The sneaker may not have the best leather, but the colorway can speak volumes. And in my opinion, this colorway right here, like I said, best Jordan one of the year in my opinion. And when you put those gray laces in, the gray is gonna offset that whole black from the toe box all the way to the tongue. The gray is gonna offset that perfectly. You guys let me know in the comments. What do you think about this Shadow 2.0? Is this sneaker on your list for 2021? Is it a pass? Is it an automatic cop? Or are you still thinking about it? I hope this video can help you decide whether, hey, I want to grab that sneaker. Just looking at it up close, change my mind. Because sometimes that can be the case when you see a sneaker on feet or you see an early review, sometimes that can determine whether you want to get the shoe or not. So I just want to get the review to you all before a release date to let you guys think and see, hey, is this a sneaker that you want to get? Or is this a pass? Is this a for sure cop or easy pass? I know for a fact that this is for sure cop for me. Like I said, I have to have this sneaker can't wait to get my hands on it. Can't wait for the release date. But this is the review on the Jordan 1 Shadow 2.0. It's your boy Big Nick, and I'm signing off. Boy, I'm going to flow, flow some passion in my flow. I pray to God, and yes, I know I thank the Lord for this growth.